Well, good morning. It is currently 10 o'clock on Thursday, the 20th of December, 2018, and I am heading to Comptus, Compton Abbas Airfield for my very first flying lesson, and I am super excited about it. Um, I, would, I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous, but I'm actually really excited about it rather than nervous. A little bit nervous, but mostly excited. And uh, full disclosure, I have been up once before. I did a trial lesson for one hour uh, a couple of months ago and I had such a blast, cracking good fun. And uh, at that point I decided, yep, this is what I want to do. So I signed up for my LL, LAPL, which is my Light Aircraft Pilot's License. And the differences between that and the PPL, I'll discuss in a future video. Um, got really lucky with the weather. If you have a look around on this wonderful 360 degree camera, you can see that we have a fantastic morning. A few little clouds here and there, but hopefully nothing which is going to affect the lesson today. Um, got really lucky that the last few days in, uh, where I am in England has been horrendous. Literally, it's been chucking down for the last three days solid. And I honestly thought there's no way today is going to happen, but it has cleared up beautifully. So off we go. So today is a three hour lesson. Um, mo normally the lessons are booked up in box of two hours. But the very first lesson we have there, they do for three hours uh, because there's a lot of familiarisation uh, with the aircraft and lots of chit chat about what to expect, etc. etc. So, this first session is three hours, and then all future lessons will be two hours. Uh, not quite sure what to expect. Um, I have had a long chat with the guys up there, very nice chat with Graham, he's been brilliant just to give me advice and uh, what to expect, etc. But I don't really know what's coming, whether I even get up in the air today. I'm pretty sure I will be doing a bit of flying today, subject to the weather holding as it is. Uh, but there might be a chance I don't go up. It's just theory today. But as I say, looking at the clouds, as I say, spin the camera around, have a look up. You can see it's a beautiful morning today. So what have I been doing in preparation? Well, obviously I've gone completely crazy on YouTube videos. It's some fantastic... Uh, flight channels out there. Um, I'll try and see if I can link a few that I've been viewing uh, down in the links below. Uh, I think the main one I've been watching is Flight Chops. Fantastic guy, does brilliant videos, loads of information. And I hope to emulate his method of recording in due course. Um, I haven't got any uh, sort of tracking applications yet. I'm probably going to be getting Sky Demon. Um, that seems to do a good job of that kind of thing so I'll probably get that for future videos but at the moment it's just going to be the GoPro here just recording it. I've also got a uh, audio recorder to record the cockpit conversations uh, which is going to be useful. I want to try and document all of the flight lessons so I can look back on them and just see what mistakes I've made and what I learned etc. Um, so yeah lots of YouTube videos about flying and I've also bought a book which has been thoroughly recommended called Stick and Rudder, uh, which if you spin the camera around down there, you'll see it on my passenger seat there, um, by an author called Wolfgang Langevisha. I think that's how you pronounce it, Langevisha. I might be wrong. Perhaps if you know better, you can leave a comment below and let me know how to pronounce it properly. But I've nearly finished it. Uh, I've got maybe... 20 pages uh, but it's been absolutely fascinating read and really really interesting stuff and some stuff which really blew my mind about the physics of flying um, for example uh, using the stick to control speed rather than altitude you use the engine to control the altitude and the stick to control the speed which I which blew my mind a little bit that's totally opposite to what I thought it was going to be um, so well worth a read. So if you're thinking about flying, then definitely pick up that book and I will leave a link down below. So that is pretty much it. I will be recording the entire flight lesson and that will be posted on shortly after this 
So what have I brought with me today? Well, I have brought my stick and rudder book, which you've already seen, as I'm going to be reading that for a little while before the lesson starts. Uh, I've also got this uh, bag, Pooley's bag, and that contains loads and loads of bits and bobs for my training plan. It's got loads of books uh, relevant to all the exams I'll be taking. Um, things like compasses, rulers, maps, all that kind of thing. I haven't really looked too much into what's in that bag yet because I just opened it and I went, oh my god. <laughs> so I will just bring all that out as and when I need it. Um, I've also just brought all the camera gear, so the GoPro Fusion, which records 360, which I can't wait to have a play around with. This is the first time I've used the camera actually. Hoping the uh, voice comes out okay. If it doesn't, then I'll use a um, lavalier mic next time I use it. Um, but for the aircraft footage, I will be using a separate recorder to record all the uh, cockpit audio. And I'll show you what I'm going to do that. Hopefully that all works out. Now, all this, uh, all this equipment I've researched on good old YouTube, um, so that's how I know what to bring with me. Hopefully, we do a good job. We shall find out later. So, looking at the skies again, uh, a little bit of cloud developing. It's not too bad. Compton Abbas is a little bit strange in that it seems to have its own weather system over there. Uh, you can have a beautiful day where I live and then just drive 25 minutes, 20 25 minutes to Compton Abbas. And it's totally different. Um, kind of hoping it doesn't get too much worse than this. Um, Obviously I'll be flying VFR, visual flight rules, as I'm learning, learning all the, all the lingo, um, which means we can't fly if it's too cloudy, you must be able to see the ground to do VFR flying. Okay, well we're nearly there, and I've got to say, I'm starting to get a bit nervous. <laughs> uh, but check out the weather, it's looking good, it's actually a beautiful morning just about make out the wind sock on the airfield over there and the clouds there's a few little fluffy ones over there but the rest of it is looking good so yeah we might get up in the air so this guy's flashing here letting me go that's good off we go a bit narrow this road thank you very much my friend so yeah it looks like we're on <laughs> So check it out people, we are at Compton Abbas Airfield. This is super exciting. We've just had a warrior turn up. I might actually be in that plane. How exciting. So, as you can see it's a grass airfield. Look at that! How cool is that? <laughs> that is actually going to be the plane I'm going up in today. Awesome. That is awesome. Well! What a day, fantastic. Good news and bad news, bad news. Camera let me down, couldn't believe it. Uh, went to turn it on, battery completely flat, but it was pretty much full when I pulled into Compton Abbas, which means even though I switched it off and I double checked that I did, it was still draining its battery when it was off. So by the time I got into the air, which is about an hour after I, uh, I got here, um, the battery was flat, which is a bit of a disappointment actually because it was it went so well it's absolutely fantastic um so there's something i learned um i did get the audio though which is great that will help me in just listening back to the lesson 
Uh, got lucky with the weather. It did get a bit cloudy and there was a lot of rain on the horizon, but we managed to avoid all that. But it was fantastic. Really, really good. Got a little bit bumpy. Um, I had a fantastic instructor, Pete. Uh, really knowledgeable. Uh, we did lots of exercises like rolling, pitching, using the, the throttle, all that kind of stuff. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go away now and figure out why my camera didn't work and then hopefully for the next lesson it will be a working camera. So uh, what a shame, I can show you the, the flight in action. I might put a bit of audio on but you'll get bored of that. So hopefully next time some video footage. Right, so I'm just driving back and I thought I'd just get some thoughts on how I thought the lesson went. very positive um, definitely definitely want to continue um, I'm currently using X-Plane 11 on my PC back at home and I downloaded a uh, Piper Warrior to use on that and it uh, has helped me an awful lot actually obviously it's not doesn't feel, there's no feeling you can't feel the, the slipping of the aeroplane or the G-forces as you're cornering, cornering, is that the right word to use? Um, but in terms of the controls, it basically taught me everything about the plane. I, I could look at, in the cockpit and I knew exactly where everything was, how it all worked, um, the, you know, the, all, all the procedures for turning, etc, etc. So that simulator definitely helped. Now what I'm going to do is when I get back home I'm going to just tweak pedals and things on the flight sim just to make them behave a lot more like the actual aircraft because one thing one big difference was the amount of movement in the rudder, rudder pedals that you use in the airplane versus the simulator the simulator is quite a lot of um, forward and backwards pressure needed uh, whereas in the aircraft you can barely touch them so I'm going to just tweak that when I get back. Um, what else? How did I cope? A lot of turbulence today. It's very choppy up there, which was fine. Although I, I did, didn't want to say anything to Pete, but I did get a little bit queasy at one point. I was, going, I was thinking, oh my god, do not throw up, Richard. Do not throw up in the airplane. Uh, but luckily, it was only I did a little bit of queasiness. It, really affect me too badly so that was a bit of a relief um, when we we're flying there was there was a, a big cloud bank rolling in and you can see the rain coming down and, and uh, Pete didn't seem phased by it at all even though we were flying straight towards it at one point and I was thinking mm, do we really really want to be flying into that because um, I've seen all the YouTube videos about VFR pilots flying into IFR conditions um, so I was really conscious of that weather bank and not going anywhere near it but Pete had it all under control and it was, uh, it's a great big lorry oh my god he's just hit the bank deary me scary so yeah, Peter had it all under control. We did get close to it, but we soon banked away when we had to. And when it started getting dangerously close to hitting Compton Abyss airfield, we, we got into the landing pad and landed. So I didn't have to worry about that at all. Obviously, but obviously as a student pilot, I'm totally in the hands of the instructor, and he very much knew what he was doing. Um, I think he's ex-commercial pilot. Uh, just got, got back into instructing privately but yeah I did a really good job made me feel at ease um, explained everything I needed to know and I did a lot of the flying which is which is great uh, and when I wasn't flying I was told to just to hold on to the controls gently and just a bit I put my feet on the rudder pedal just so I could feel what Pete was doing with the controls so I could get a feel for everything in that respect so that was that was good um, obviously there's so much to take in I, oh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to remember but I'll tell you what that stick and rudder 
book. Brilliant, it really helped me understand what he was saying. Obviously, he was covering all the things, well, not all the things, but a lot of the things the book was had covered. And I think if this was my very first time of having zero knowledge in flying, I probably would have really struggled with understanding how things were explained, or at least I would have needed things explained a couple of times rather than just the once. And that's where that book really comes in handy. Um, I knew what he was talking about probably 90% of the time. There's only one thing, one or two things I think, oh, I don't know about that, I don't understand that. Um, but yeah, that book, definitely worth getting. If, if you're watching this thinking of learning to fly, get that book, that's, that's made a big difference. Yeah, so that book and the flight sim, I think, really helped. Okay, nice narrow road here. Let's just wait for them. Okay, back again, and so where was I? Yeah, so the book definitely helped. Uh, the flight sim definitely helped. And I, watching all the YouTube videos definitely helped. So you just want to digest as much information as you possibly can. It really, really helps with understanding that first lesson. So yeah, good. So that was all good. And then we, when we landed, we did refueling. So that was good. Learning how to do that. Um, also help washing the plane, <laughs> which I don't mind. That's fine. Uh, the trouble is with a, with a grass airstrip, uh, especially when it's been raining a lot. A lot of mud gets flicked up, particularly on the the elevator. Uh, it was absolutely caked in mud. So yeah, help with that, and had a tour of the, the hangars and all the different aircraft in there, which was really interesting. Uh, so yeah, all in all, really good day. Really enjoyed it. Uh, my next lesson, I think, is next week. I'll double check my diary, in which case I'll do my best to get some video footage this time. Uh, I would have, oh, I'm, I'm gutted it didn't record. Uh, it would have been absolutely fantastic to see what I was seeing, uh, particularly looking at the, the, the cloud bank rolling in and me, my facial expression as we're on full power heading straight to towards it there's rain and the rainbow as well that I saw up ahead uh, so yeah it's a shame we missed that but anyway it's all a learning lesson and uh, I'll make sure it works next time anyway thanks for watching I'll see you next time